Welcome to Chapter 3.4, Part 3, The Equation of a Line. The third form is called the point-slope form. This is an alternative method to the slope-intercept form. But in this form, we have the y minus y1 is equal to m, bracket, x minus x1, close bracket, where m is the slope and x1, y1 is the given point. In example one, we find the equation of a straight line that has a slope m equals 4 and passes through the point negative 1, negative 6. Now, if this looks familiar, yes, it is, because we're going to now, instead of using the slope-intercept form to solve this, we're going to use the point-slope form. We're given that the slope is equal to 4 and the point is negative 1, negative 6. The equation of the line is as follows. y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 in point slope form. We substitute in the number for m is equal to 4 and the point, well this will be x1 and this will be y1. So x1 is negative 1 and y1 is negative 6. We substitute our given values where y minus y1, and in our case, y1 is negative 6, and that's equal to y plus 6. And then on the other side, we're given m is equal to 4, x minus x1, and in our case, our x1 is negative 1, so that will give us 4 times x plus 1. Then we distribute this 4x, 4 times plus 1, and that's how we get 4x plus 4. And then we solve for y, and we get y is equal to 4x minus 2, which is the same answer we got earlier. In example number 2, given two points, 5 minus 1 and 3, 1, solve the equation of a line using the point-slope form and write your answer in slope-intercept form. Here we're going to work this out in steps. The first step is to find the slope. In order to find the slope, we have to use the slope formula. Recall that the slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now we can label each one of these points. This point we can label x1 for the 5 and y1 for the negative 1 and x2 for the 3 and y2 for the 1. Now we solve for m. And remember, negative times a negative gives me a positive, so it's 1 plus 1. And then on the bottom here, we have 3 minus 5, which is negative 2. So 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, and here we have negative 2. And when we simplify, we find that the slope is negative 1. In step number 2, we place a point and the slope into the point-slope form. So we can choose either point 5, negative 1, or 3, 1. I will choose 3, 1 because they're both positive. So here I have my formula for my point slope form. For my y1, I will choose 1 from this point. And for my x1, I will choose 3 from this point. Then I use the distributive property and I distribute negative 1 and I get negative x. 
then I multiply negative 1 times negative 3, and I get positive 3. In step number 3, I solve for y to get y is equal to negative x plus 4, and this is how I get the slope-intercept form. In example number three, we're asked to write an equation of a line passing through negative two, negative three, and parallel to the line whose equation is 4x plus y is equal to eight. And we want to write our answer in slope-intercept form, which means the form y is equal to mx plus b. So let us go over to the whiteboard and work this one out. Example number three, we're given an equation in general form, 4x plus y is equal to 8. And we're asked to find a line parallel to it that passes through point negative 2, negative 3. Now, since we have this in general form, we do, cannot, just by looking at it, find the, the slope of the line because we need to know the slope of the line because parallel lines have the same slope. That's what connects the two lines. A line that is parallel, lines that are parallel have the same slopes. So we have to put this into y equals mx plus b, which is the slope-intercept form, and we have to find m. So we're going to rearrange this, and we get y is equal to negative 4x plus 8. So this tells us that the slope is negative 4. And that means that a line parallel to this will also be negative 4. So we have, let's say, this is our line, and then a line parallel to it will not necessarily have the same y-intercept. We want it to go through that point. So let's say this is our original line and this is our new line. They may have the same slope, but they do not intersect the y-axis at the same point. So we have to find this new y-intercept using this point. So I have negative 2, negative 3, and as before, I'll label them x, y, and then I have y is equal to negative 4x plus b, and then I plug in the x, y, negative 3 is equal to negative 4 times negative 2 plus b, and that means that I get negative 3 is equal to negative times negative is positive 8 plus b, and then minus 8 minus 8, and that means b is equal to negative, negative, negative 11. Now I have the slope, and I have the new y-intercept, so I have all the information I need to write the equation of a line parallel to my original line, but goes through this particular point. So my new general, my new parallel line is equal to negative 4x minus 11. Notice how the y-intercepts are different because they're different lines, but the slopes are the same, which means they are parallel to each other. In reviewing what I did on the whiteboard, or at least this part, to find the equation of a line, we must know a point on the line and the slope. We solve for y so that y is equal to negative 4x plus 8. Both lines must have the same slope. So here, the slope of both lines will be given as negative 4, and recall the symbol for slope is m. 
So therefore, the slope of the new line is negative 4. Now here I'm going to deviate a bit from the whiteboard, and I'm going to solve this one using the point slope form rather than the slope intercept form. So here is the point slope form. And we substitute in the given values. We clear the brackets using the distributive property. And we write in slope-intercept form. That means the y is equal to mx plus b form. In example number four, we're asked to find an equation of a line passing through point four, three, and is perpendicular to the line whose equation is 2x plus 3y is equal to 3. So let us go over to the whiteboard and solve this. So in example number 4, we're given the line in standard form of 2x plus 3y is equal to 3. And we want to find a line that is perpendicular to it that goes through point 4, 3. Now we look at this and we can't tell much about the slope by looking at this particular formula. That's why we have to put it into slope-intercept form. We always have to do that because when we're talking about parallel and perpendicular, we're talking about issues about the relationship of the slopes. So I'm going to move this over, so I'm going to get 3y is equal to negative 2x plus 3. And then I'm going to divide this by 3 and divide this by 3. And I get y is equal to negative 2 over 3x plus 1. Now what I'm interested in here is the slope. But the slope is not going to be the same. Because when we're talking about perpendicular lines, we're talking about a line that goes through the other one at right angles like that. Okay, but that doesn't mean again that they have the same y-intercept. So we need to now figure out what the perpendicular slope is and recall the definition of a perpendicular slope and perpendicular is equal to the negative reciprocal and I remember reciprocal I turn this upside down and I multiply it by a negative, so that means it's going to be 3 over 2 is going to be my perpendicular slope. So now I have my new line is equal to y is equal to 3 over 2x plus b, but I still don't know what my y intercept is. I only know that we go through point 4, 3, but that's not a y-intercept. That's just a point. So I have to call, again, this one x, this one y, and then solve 3 is equal to 3 over 2, and I'll just write it 4 over 1 to make the math a little easier, plus b, or a little clearer, then 2, 2. So 3 is equal to 6 plus b, and then minus 6 minus 6. So b is equal to negative 3. So that means for, my, the, for the intercept of the line perpendicular is negative 3 is the y-intercept, and my slope is 3 over 2. So here's my slope, and here's my y-intercept, and now I can write the general equation. I have, So I can write y is equal to 3 over 2x minus 
three, and that's going to be my final. And I'm going to put a little perpendicular sign here to say that this is perpendicular or the equation of a line that's perpendicular to my original equation that passes through point four, three. Solving for y, the line is given by y is equal to negative 2 over 3x plus 1. The slope of the equation is m is equal to negative 2 over 3. Therefore, the slope of the new perpendicular line is the negative reciprocal, meaning that we we flip this one over, the original slope over, and we change the sign. So that means the slope of the perpendicular line is positive 3 over 2. Now here I'm going to deviate a little bit from the whiteboard using the point slope form rather than the slope intercept form where I have m is equal to 3 over 2, and I will use the point 4, 3 to solve this. I plug in the appropriate numbers, and I get y minus 3 is equal to 3 over 2x minus 6. And I got that by using the distributive property after I substituted in the given values. And then finally, I simplified so that I get it in the slope-intercept form, meaning that I solved for y, where I get y is equal to 3 over 2x minus 3. And this is the slope-intercept form. Thank you very much. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Take care, be well, and goodbye for now.